hear me right now? Can you hear me? Let me know in the chat if you guys can hear me really quick. Uh, let me see if I can actually bring up the chat really quick. Here we go. Hey. What's up, what's up, what's up? So right now we're just waiting for them to get paperwork stuff situated. Um, so if I do have to mute, uh, if I do have to mute the audio just for like paperwork stuff, just know uh, I'm not going anywhere. You understand? Uh, but yeah, very exciting, very exciting. But what's good? How's everybody going? I'm actually really excited about this, bro. <clears throat> can you guys hear me though? Let me know if y'all can hear me. Let me know if y'all can hear me. How is the connection? Is the connection okay? We're good? Cool. Cool, cool. Hey, today is a, essentially a month in a making, damn near. Um, I bought this car from a dealership in Sydney, and I've had had a time. <laughs> say this had a time, uh, but today's a day. Today's a day of picking up the vehicle. Uh, the dealership that I actually brought, uh, that I bought my A45 from, I'm buying. Uh, they're actually taking the delivery of it here, which is dope. So, super grateful for them because they didn't actually have to do that here. Uh, but they're doing it anyways, because uh, this dealership is super fire. Straw Hat was good. So um, I'm just waiting, like I said before, I'm waiting for them to finalize paperwork stuff that they need to do on their end. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually really excited. Are you keeping your car too? No, I actually traded that in. Um, I traded it in and I turned in the car about a week and a half ago. So uh, since then, I've been driving like a Mazda 3 loaner from them. Uh, so I really loved my A45, like a lot. That was like one of my first dream cars that I ever uh, got to buy. And um, I wanted something a little bit more adult, you know, less boy racer. Uh, the A45, all the 45 and 63 AMG models are more, uh, they're more track cars for the road. And I needed something that was less that. The more that you have like a track focus suspension and things like that, the more rigid the ride is going to be. So I was like, look, I need something with a little longer wheelbase with a little more compliant ride, something that does the duality of performance in, in, in like, you know, comfort. So that's where we're at. Uh, but yeah, so my night about to be profiling. What? Nah. So we'll, we'll see uh, once everything gets sorted. So uh just appreciate the patience that you guys have been having a lot. You guys have been asking for the last couple weeks, when's the car for real? Uh, I, I was waiting just like you guys. So uh, hopefully today or in a few minutes, we can get the paperwork knocked out and you guys get to get the reaction I get to get because I haven't seen the car in person. I haven't sat in the vehicle. Rolling to looking for comfort? Not necessarily comfort. I need, I need the car to do both. I need it to be comfortable when I want it to be and have the performance when I want it to have it. Um, and the A45 was just stiff all the time. Even when you put it in comfort, it was not comfortable, you know? So, so yeah. Um, but yeah, it seems like we're waiting, uh, like they're trying to wait for other stuff to get sort of over there, but can you tell us the color? Um, it's Acon said you deserve it. I don't know if I deserve it. You know, I don't know if that's the right wording, but I definitely am excited. What's going on, brother? Hey, Lee. How yep. are you? Tom? I'm excellent. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. I just got to, if I may, there's just mm -hmm. a couple of scribbles for the transfer of your registration Sweet. and, and Easy. the bits of box. Easy. If we may, and then I think Chloe's going to take payment for the Easy. Um, yeah, that's yep. Fine. Do you mind if I grab a seat? Yep. Guys, give me a second. I'm going to mute the mic really quick, handle some paperwork real fast, and then we'll be back on it.
guys, paperwork's done. Registration is done. Uh, <laughs> private info can't be heard by, I mean, yeah. I mean, we were actually, while we're, you know, finishing up the registration, we're talking about, uh, it's single digit cars here in Australia, but this car right behind me, the SL, uh, the AMG Black, no, that's not my vehicle. Don't get it twisted. Uh, but yeah, we were talking about that. It's already a customer car. So, um, but that car, I think here is around 800 thou, uh, which is wild. Cause in the States, it's, I think half that. And then I think they're already going on like resale here for like 1.5. Um, but yeah, kind of wild. Can you guys hear me? Can y'all see me? Uh, but yeah, so um so yeah that's done paperwork's done registration has got done um he's going to bring over an f post machine so i could pay for um this uh coding i get on my car and then i think it might be time i think it might be time guys are y'all hype man i'm i'm actually nervous i haven't sat in the car i haven't drove the car um or driven the car um, i haven't seen this car in person at all so crazy flip buying the states on australia um uh, it doesn't really work that way. Um, it doesn't really work that way because the import is going to be so much. The import tax is crazy here. So a lot of these cars that are like luxury label, um, like uh, Mercedes, Audi, BMW, Porsche, Aston Martin, Maserati, um, anything with like a luxury brand has a luxury tax on top of the import tax. And it's wild. I'll give you an example. The new C8 Corvette in the States is what, 69000 I think on top of that with the Z51 package, it's roughly around like 75000 Here in the States, uh, here in Australia, they're going to be going for, I think, starting, but they come with the Z51 already, $130,000 to $140,000 for a Corvette. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so you're, uh, you're Australian? No, I'm actually from Vegas, but I live in Australia. Yeah, it's, everything's right-hand drive out here. So, but yeah, the, the prices are crazy. Because one of the cars I was actually looking at was a Lotus uh, Amira, uh, the one that just came out. But uh, yeah, give us one second real quick, guys. Let me pay for this real quick. Awesome. And these are the, the rent-a-car keys, the loaner that you guys gave me. And that car is actually out there, by the way. So I don't know if you guys want that. Awesome. Thank you. Um, the more I said, I'm learning about cars. Uh, but yeah, so it's definitely, uh, things are really expensive. So I was looking at a Lotus, um, uh, the Amira, the one that just got announced in that car, I think starts at 69,000 in the States. And I put, um, a letter of interest here in Australia to see what that was going to be out here. And I, uh, I contact them and it's going, I think this, they're starting at like 150 or 160. I was like, nah, stop it. Stop it. He's that man getting the V8 by turbo. Um, uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see when it gets revealed. See when it gets revealed, but yeah, um, I real like, I actually really wanted this car, the A45S, which was the newer version of my car, uh, or my previous car that I had. Uh, and again, I just I needed something that was more comfortable and a little bit more adult. You know what I'm saying? Boy Racer only goes so far. You get to a certain age where you're just gonna be like, Ugh. how long to reveal? Uh, once they get sorted with the paperwork. So uh, I'm kind of at the uh, I'm kind of at the mercy of, you know, them handling stuff that they need to handle here first. You're looking around like, where's my car? No, I'm actually looking at over there. I don't want to show them on camera, but there's um, like a a business center. So they're handling all the stuff that they need to handle on that end. Um, but yeah, he said from, he said, where I'm from, it's the right side for us too. But I saw a car that was left. I was dumbfounded at the point. I mean, certain cars can get imported. They don't actually have right-hand drive. So I love hot hatches, man. A45. Um, look, bro, I, I love hot hatches too. If I had the money to have multiple vehicles, 
uh, and a place that I had multiple car spots, like my apartment only has one car spot, then it may be cool to have something that's just daily driver and then have something that's more like, you know, stiff suspension and all that. But when I was driving the A45 around all the time, like you get, you just got to the point of like, I wanted the suspension to soften and it just never did. And sometimes you just kind of want a car to just quiet down and it that car just never did. So it just is what it is. So I was like, at the moment, I need a car to do both. So um, can you show the Black Series? Yeah, 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 for sure. So that's the Black Series GTR right there. Shit is crazy. Super nuts. That shit goes. Let me see. Let me get up real quick. I'll walk over there. Wait. While we waiting. So this is the Black Series. That thing is stupid. Like, crazy. That shit wild. Right? That thing crazy. Stupid. Um, <laughs> that way makes it ten times better. <laughs> Look, that car is probably going to be rough as shit to drive on the road. So, um, you a Mercedes fan? I'm a car fan, bro. Like, I just like, I like performance cars. I've always liked performance cars. Bro, this made me feel poor. Bro, I'm not getting an AMG GTR. <laughs> I'm not getting a Black Series, bro. Come on. I'm nowhere near that level right now, bro. That's... Oh, chill. Thanks for my... Yeah, I'm nowhere near that at the moment, bro. Don't get it twisted. Um, what is better, that or a Porsche? I mean, it depends on, it depends on what you're looking for. Um, I think as far as a build, Porsche is one of the best built cars, period, bro. Like, they're, and their steering racks are, like, next level. Like, any of their cars, like, even a Macan. You drive a Macan, like, the steering rack is, mm, it's fucking amazing. But again, if you're a performance-oriented driver, and they're build quad again, like, what you can do in a Porsche, like how you can customize it. Like you can order any Porsche and then customize the wheels from the dealership to the paint of the car, match interior, like the customizability of Porsche is nuts. So um, certain Mercedes uh, are like that, but it's uber rare where you get that level of, of customizability. I mean, breaking necks. I mean, I don't think I'm be breaking necks, but BMW is awesome, man. I just think right now their design language isn't really my cup of tea. I really like things that have a very like sensual design. And right now BMW is very angular. And because I was looking at a four series and that grill, I just can't, I cannot, I can't with that car. It looks like a buck tooth Mustang is what the new four series looks like. And I can't with it. Um, even though they drive really well, obviously. Um, but Again, their build quality is really nice uh, as well, like put together. Audi, I think, has the best out of the out of the top three Germans out of the Mercedes, uh, BMW, and Audi. I think Audi has the best finish, like put together wise. But uh, Audis are just too sleeper for me. Like they're too they're too massaged. They're too reserved. Um, so yeah, thoughts on the Toyota Supra? It's a cool car. Um, I haven't personally driven one, um, but it doesn't. The Super looks good from certain angles. and other angles, it looks really strange. And, yeah, I don't know about it personally. But, um, yeah. There's a lot of movement around here. M5 competition looks the best. Yeah, I mean, if you got M5 competition money, that's a whole other situation. If I was in the States, it'd be really different. But the cars here are so much more expensive than the States. Um, so, you know, for me, it's like finding the right vehicle at the right time uh especially because i'm into cars yeah, yeah? Let's get we're doing it we're doing it guys it's time it's time let me put this in my pocket all right guys it's it's time for the reveal again i have not seen this car before so you guys are probably going to see my reaction first and then uh and then i will show you the car because i haven't seen this thing yet at all um so real quick guys 
that's what it's in right here. So we got the name right there, Bow. I don't want to show you what it is, but here we go. We're going to, it's time. Ready when you are, sir. <clears throat> I'm too excited right now. I'm too excited. Oof. Chill. Oh my God. This shit look crazy. Y'all ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Black C43 AMG Coupe. Facelift. Got the 19 black. We're going to have to pull this out. Guys, this shit is crazy. Oh my god. Whew. But look at look at the oh my god. Come on. Sheesh. Bruh, come on. What are we what are we doing right now? Bruh, what are we doing right now? Come on, bruh. You see the performance seats inside, bro? Oh, bro, don't get me started, bro. Oh, my God. The wheels are nuts, bro. Wheels are nuts. Multi-beam headlight. Bro. Stupid. Can I open? Oof. All right, here we go. We going inside. I'm just going to put this here for now. Look at that. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. So you got the black interior. AMG performance seats. I'm going to climb inside real quick. So batteries, like, hey, bruh. Oof. Got the clock in here. So this is the uh, charging mat for the phone. Cool. Carbon. Yeesh. Yeesh. Bruh, come on, bruh. What are we doing right now? Yeah, that shit wild, bruh. Oh, yes. Let me see really quick. I'm not going to turn it on, but... Sweet. Try again. Oh. Sick. This looks crazy. It's so clean. Steering wheel, man, the, even the Alcantara is nice. Bruh. Guys, what y'all feeling, man? How y'all feel about it? How are y'all feeling? Can I start it? Do you wanna, I can, I can jump in and start it if you wanna talk That would be awesome, yes. All right, guys, let's see what we, we starting like y'all ready? Bro, look at the lights, bro. Oh my god. Oof. Oof. Y'all ready? I'm ready. is crazy bruh wow wow uh, it's wild bro oh it's crazy 
Oh, so good. So, guys, that's it. How's that sound? Does that sound good? Sound good to you? That's been fantastic. Oh, my God. Thank you, man. That's all right. My pleasure. Congrats. Thank you all so much. We'll, uh, we'll get this one outside the door there. Awesome. You can follow me on the way out if you like. Yep. And I'll, um, I'll speak to your colleague. We'll do that. Awesome. And then if you've got any questions about the car, you can uh, Sweet. The line the line. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Guys, that shit sounds nuts. How y'all feeling about it, bro? How y'all feeling about it, bruh? How y'all feeling? Let me know. What y'all feeling? How y'all thinking? He said he gonna cry in the car. Get out of here, bruh. <laughs> he gonna cry in the car. Bruh. Oh my God, bro. This shit is nuts. Super crazy. Oof. Crazy, bro. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, man. This thing is too wild, bro. Too wild, bro. Guys, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, yeah. Now you're about to, he said, look at Mr. Whip Appeal. Get out of here, bro. This shit sound crazy, bro. Ugh. Bro. Sheesh. Sheesh. Bro, come on. I was thinking about getting different wheels, but I don't think I need to, guys. I don't think I need to, bro. Bro, thank you, man. Oh, that shit look different. This shit look different. Guys. Oof. Come on, bro. Nah, that black on black looks crazy. Man. What y'all think, man? I don't think I'm, I think I might keep the stock wheels. I don't think I need new wheels, bro. I was like, oh, maybe I should get new wheels. Nah. Definitely no need. Definitely no need. Oh my God. This shit look nuts bro look at the look at them hoes bro come on let me hold on Jeez. question because i did see the it said the battery something's going with the battery what's going on with that uh when the cards advice that it happens to all our stock cars if the car's like most cars it makes it still too long got it brands put that the start of the trains got it run it for 30 minutes sweet easy awesome man yeah, the wheels are crazy. Thank you guys so much, man. Oh, so crazy. So crazy, man. Well, I appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, got any questions, you know where to find us. Otherwise, I think coming from the A class, the A45, a lot of the general controls are pretty much the same. You can do a select all that. All the seats. Yes. Awesome. Tom, appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much, man. Have a great one. Oh, bro, these seats are so fucking comfortable, bro. Oh my god. Breath. Get the fuck out of here. Is car insurance required? What you mean? <laughs> Is car insurance required? Breath. Get out of here. Do you think people driving with no insurance out here? Is that what you think? Bruh, hold on. I need to. Bruh, I'm telling you right now, this is going to be a problem. Oh, bro, yes. Oh, yes. There's a sunroof, bruh. Come on. Don't. Oh, yes. Other YouTubes are talking about my Tesla model. Look, bro, I'm cool. Like, I get it. I understand the Tesla shit. I get it for sure. But personally for me, the Tesla ain't it. Like, I need something with some emotion. Man, bro, 
<laughs> he said Batmobile, bro. Facts. Oh my god, bro. This shit is. This shit is a fucking one, bro. Hold on, let me just see something. I just want to see what. Um. I want to see if there's different, um, different modes I can set over here. Let's see, no. I gotta like learn all this shit. But guys, that's gonna that's gonna conclude this for now. Let me know if you guys want me to do a follow up video, maybe like a drive shit. Um, thinking about it. Uh, he said Revit. Um, but yeah, bro. Uh. He said, geek, someday, someday. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, the build quality of Teslas are not, they're not, <laughs> they're not. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, and it's kind of like, again, I love cars. Like, I love all types of cars. But, uh, and I know from being a, a car connoisseur, car enthusiast, uh, and driving a lot of vehicles and looking at a lot of vehicles, and Tesla's build quality is what's holding Tesla back at the moment. But again, they're still really new, so. Are you ready for sure? All right. Well, let's do this. I'm going to call this one. I appreciate you guys so much, man, because without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to do this. I wouldn't have been able to achieve this. So from the bottom of my heart, let me take these off. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you guys for real. Um, this YouTube situation has been a dream come true, and you guys have been detrimental into allowing me to continue doing cool stuff online and other ventures. And I just want to show my appreciation for you guys because this shit means a lot. Uh, I know other people are into different stuff. I'm into cars. I don't party. I don't drink. I don't do a lot of stuff that other people deem fun. But my fun is is cars. So for me to be able to have fun with things that I enjoy uh, is because of of what we have built here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much, man. It really means the world. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with this for a little bit, and yeah, I will I'll hit you guys up uh, with uh, maybe a Q and A over on Patreon about it. So, and then we'll talk about doing a, like a review video or something. But appreciate you guys, man. You, I love you guys for real. We'll catch you guys later. We out this day.